Hey everybody, Christian from Treasure Town here. Another day in the office, another exciting consignment to unbox um, that's gonna make its way. Either I'll do maybe a direct sale, but most likely all of this stuff is gonna go to whatnot. It's supposed to be a bunch of world silver, um, and so that's the type of stuff that I'm generally interested uh, in selling and offering to people, um, but I actually don't know, you know what the person sent. So um, like a regular collection unboxing, this is basically a collection unboxing, except I know that I'm gonna be selling it. Um, again, most likely through whatnot um, in the coming uh, weeks. So anyways, gonna get this thing open. I'm pumped to see what's inside and hopefully it'll be some new types that I really don't get very much of. So um, we'll head on over and see what's in it. And I tried to open this thing on camera, um, but I'm just gonna open it off camera and show you the coins, but not look at any of them again. I have no idea what's inside um, and so, yeah, give me a moment. And the hunt is on. Um, I'm gonna start from this pile, which uh, I believe this consigner had sent me some similar 10 marks um, in the past, um, but a nice 1972 um, Olympic Games, or maybe this is, yeah, this is the yeah, Munich Olympic Games um, coin, then an Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart, 25 shilling. You know, the Austrians again, and that one has a touch of cleaning, but the Austrians, always do really nice commemoratives and so do the Germans for the most part. Haven't seen this 1968 five mark before, Johannes Gutenberg. So I believe the Gutenberg Bible, that's what that's referring to. Um, then you have an Arthur Schopenhauer 10 mark um, and another uh, 1969, a little bit later, Gerhardt Mercator five marks. Um, fun Norwegian 1964 10 kroner, really cool. Um, and then a Swedish, this is a Gus, uh, yeah, Gustav Adolf um, commemorative 100th anniversary five kroner. Mm, we've got a nice Austrian coin from 1963. Uh, and I'm not sure, let's see what that is. Uh, Eugen von Savoyen. Um, so yeah, the Prince Eugen, important uh, figure. There's an Austrian one. Um, and then here we've got a nice Cuban 1915 um, you know, 40 centavos, what looks like a nice uh, 20 centavos, um, and then also another 20 centavos. Great. Um, next up after that, that looks cool. Um, a neat Australian item, a uh, 50 Australian 50 cent. Um, and then here's a pretty solid florin, and it has the S mint mark from San Francisco. Uh, which is super cool. So the Advanced Australia right there. Um, we've also then got this neat two shillings uh, with some toning and luster um, from the area. Um, and I believe I may group lot them according to these um, numbers. So like that would, it's kind of turning into a mini lot viewing, which is fun. Here's a Swedish, uh, another five kroner similar type. And I really like this um, ship. It could be the 19, is it the 38? Yes, it's a 1938 really neat two kroner coin that's actually paired with a similar tercentenary 300th anniversary um, in the United States. I forget exactly which one, uh, which commemorative half dollar it is, um, but that's a really cool pairing there uh, with some US coin history. Mm, and then we have another florin from Australia, 1941 and a 1966 um, 50 cents. Uh, so some solid silver. Right here we've got, ooh, a neat florin, uh, Parliament House, Australia. I don't know if that's like a circulating commemorative. Never seen that design before, so I'm very pleased about it. Uh, and then that's going to be uh, before this, okay, cool, Spain, 1885, uh, Alfonso XII, um, along with a two mark German states coin here from Wilhelm. Prussia is the big German state, but it's still a nice, you know, I'm excited about this. This will be really fun. Um, and then a more modern 1951J uh, German five marks. Um, right here, we've got, let's see, a 1940 South African two and a half shillings, um, which is interesting, and another sort of New Zealand um, one florin, uh, you know, both not mainland Britain, um, but still certainly, uh, it, you know, important parts of the empire. I kind of want to now keep these in order. This looks like it could be Okay, so these are some groups of silver five marks um, with varying 
dates and years and that sort of thing. Um, you know, 1951, there's a 74, 51, 51, let's see, 1968G, uh, 1951F, 1951J, 1969J, 1968F, 1951F, and 1951G. So, um, you know, I don't know how many there are here, but maybe it looks like 15, maybe some groups of five is how I'll end up splitting those. These I'm excited about. Ooh, that's a pretty big French coin right there. Um, super neat. Louis Philippe. Um, you know, I think that, I don't know if that's, I think that's just how they're struck. There's a scratching. Um, I was going to say that that was like a lamination, but that's just how his like little ribbon is showing. But 1843, five francs. It's crazy how affordable this is compared to like a seated dollar. I'm always impressed um, at how much cool stuff is available, you know, in the world market. 1842, quarter franc. Um, and then right here is uh, 50 centimes, 1867, or 20 centimes, excuse me, and then a 20 centimes from 1860. Uh, once I did a project with a bunch of French gold, and it was interesting how they had different, like, there were a lot of different rulers. Um, some of the Napoleon the Great, like the Napoleon coins, um, are super affordable. Um, so I'm just going to flip that over because I generally, well, I don't mind, but here's a 1960 Mexican 25 pesos. It's the uh, Olympic commemorative. Um, and then a 10 mark. Okay, a little bit more. Uh, yes, but that's the Munich uh, commemorative uh, for the Olympics there. Uh, maybe that's kind of a cool, you know, mix. Um, and then we've got some Swiss silver. Uh, there's like a herdsman, I want to say. Uh, and then a half franc, one franc. Um, and these, interesting fact, uh, each of those stars represent one of the Swiss cantons. I want to say they came together in like 1847 or so. And then we've got uh, some uh, 10 wrap in to maybe throw in with that group uh, or with this group, which is uh, a 1963 half, um, half franc and a full 1953 five francs. Um, you know, the herdsman types are always pretty interesting, I think. Uh, and then two more of them. Um, I haven't sold any herdsmen, or at least not in a long time, um, in any of my auctions. So I'll be curious to see how those do. And it's nice to have the pre-World War II, uh, post-World War II. So um, very fun. And then our last, you know, I really like this. You know, and, and this consigner is super easy to work with as well. The people who I've consigned from and to have been awesome so far, and I'm very thankful for that. Um, but here we've got a, that looks like a half and full Balboa from Panama including the 1947. That's a really cool uh, item. And it's a big time silver coin. Uh, right here, it looks like we've got additional ones. So yeah, 1967. And that's a full, you know, 75% or so of a, um, you know, ounce of silver, maybe it's like 78, I forget the exact fineness, um, or not fineness, it's 90%, but the exact weight. There's a big five franc coin um, from France. And that's the, you know, Hercules type uh, the same way that you know they eventually strike the more modern commemoratives with the Hercules type. Here's a Louis Philippe uh, 1833 five francs um, big time crown uh, silver coin from the Netherlands. That one's pretty cleaned 1939. Uh, maybe I'd lot it. Can't tell how I'd run that one. Um, here's a 2000 race from Brazil um, 1889 Petrus the or Pedro the third or second. Um, and then we've got a, another big, here's the more modern 50 francs, like commemorative type and commemorative design. Got a 1937 one crown here from Australia, which is fun. And then one more um, big time 50 francs. So yeah, I'll figure out how to put these in our upcoming sales, but uh, we're gonna have one, you know, many um, not too long from now. So uh, it'll be great to mix in a lot of these fun world silver. You know, I think it's some of the, neatest like mix of silver and interesting history that's available out there um, and so it's always fun to just see what flows through my desk um, when i'm putting together my business and this is what occurred today um, i'll see you over on those whatnot shows i'll put the link to the next one and some of the times of those in the description um, but also just more generally um, you know be involved with treasure town check out my website treasuretown.com uh, sign up for my emails. I've been trying to write good ones, um, and I'll see you all soon. Thanks for watching the video, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.
Also, be sure to visit our website, treasuretown.com, to stay up to date on everything going on on the channel and possibly get some great deals on coins and collectibles. We look forward to seeing you on our future videos and best wishes until then.